here for i3 owners again regarding the dynamic driving control which is located here this little toggle switch by the iDrive controller so every time you start your vehicle it's going to be in the comfort mode when you're in comfort mode pretty much have uh, you know free free to do what you want set up the the climate how you like nice and comfortable go as quick as you like um, you know minus the, the 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 fact that the vehicle has a top speed but um, yeah, so comfort mode, just drive how you like, as comfortably as you like. Once you go down into Eco Pro, you're just going to start changing things up a bit. You'll notice up in the cluster it goes to Eco Pro, nav lets you know you're going to Eco Pro, and then the center stack also has a light indicator to show you're going to Eco Pro. So once you're in Eco Pro, your speed is going to be limited to 75, and your climate controls are also going to be reduced. So you might notice that your AC, if it's full blast, might not be as effective as it usually is. So what it's trying to do is save you some range, so give you more range by cutting back on some, some of the amenities. When you go down into Eco Pro Plus, and again you get those same indicators, the Eco Pro Plus mode is going to limit you to 56 miles an hour. And it's also going to turn off your climate settings. But when you do this, you know that you get increased range. And that can be observed right here as you switch out of modes. But that's also good to note about the modes because I've had it a couple of times where clients will, um, what they'll do is they'll be driving an Eco Pro Plus. They see they have such and such range, like displayed here. They'll pull up somewhere, get out of the car, they notice, okay, I have 44 miles, get out of the car, get back in. But when they get back in, it might have been maybe just a quick ATM run or something, whatever it may be. And they notice when they get back in, all of a sudden, their miles are at 41 now. And they're concerned that they're just losing range just rapidly for no reason. So it's good to keep in mind that when you get in the car and start the car, you are going into comfort mode. So you're at the lower end of your, your range. So hopefully that can clear up some confusion there. Once you get out of the car and start it again, you're going to go back into comfort mode, which is going to bring you to the lower part of your range. If you were driving an Eco Pro Plus, you can see you get, you get higher range. But hopefully that clears up a couple of questions about the dynamic driving control. If you do have more questions on that or anything else, let me know. Uh, shoot me a comment in the uh, question, and uh, I'll do my best to answer them for you.